What's going on, guys? Pegasus and the Wise Guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Shout out to the Wise Guys. Shout out to the Wise Guys. Shout out to the captain behind the screen. Um, I, what we got I over mentioned here? It, I had mentioned it on the community page. Um, I told people that it was coming. And it's like, I really love this deck. And I thought about, like, not doing anything. And then it's like, I still don't have my little knight. Uh, one is, stuff is on loan. Stuff is moving all over. Whatever. Um, this deck is gas. But it's one of those long-term investment decks that's just a really, really good deck. And I'm just not going to talk. I'm just going to get straight into it. Let's get into it. Uh, you know. Shout out to KC Card Capital, sponsors of, of the page and the homies um, for helping us get a lot of these cards, which is really, really important. I won't be traveling this weekend. A lot of the wise guys will be. Make sure you look out for them. Or don't look out for them. Right <laughs> um, Centurion Primera. Um, it's a tuner. It's a continuous trap as well. So and it's, and it searches. And it's really good. I always compare these to Crystal Beasts. Yeah. Um uh, what's the difference between it being a continuous trap and a spell? Like does that matter at all? It doesn't really matter. I I literally and I thought about playing like Cobalt Eagle and stuff like that, but it does just doesn't line up like you want it to. Okay. I, I was thinking about Feather Storm and people sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Winning this deck, which I figured out I, I can do in the middle of the day. But um, as continuous traps, it just allows you to, to um, it, they didn't want it to like cross over with the flame bird stuff. They didn't okay. want it to cross up with other stuff. I have a feeling that's why they did it. But then there's like, there's cars like Pharaonic Advent, not Pharaonic Advent itself, but there's cars like that to try yeah, yeah. stuff out. And I feel like they're going to loop back around to doing something later with it. That's why. Yeah, I thought that was an important question. And they play, they play with uh, anti-spell. Oh, yeah. That, okay. That was, that was the other thing. Um, so... Yeah, Primera is just the most important starter, but they're, you know, it's yeah, like Regina, this is Eaglin, this okay. is Rhino Heart, this is Sharon, this is Fenrir, this is, you yeah, know, like, they're all the same broken. thing. One is Unicorn, one is Fenrir, they're all broken. Uh, Trudea. One's Ash, one's Poplar. Yeah, literally. That, that's literally what they all do, but again, continuous trap. Uh, Trudea is just really, really uh, strong, and it's the secondary uh, starter, and it also places another and the other is uh, Emmett. Level Emmett eight. Six. Um, to me, I like two, even when I'm not playing Desires. But I definitely did side one out in matchups where I'm like, get 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 the game over with. <laughs> this isn't going to matter that much. So it's like, yeah. Is that like a game three space, thing? Yeah. Okay. It's like a game three thing. When I know I'm going first, I know I don't want to see this because I know it doesn't do anything. Um, but Emmeth is really, really good. Emmeth is a hand trap that people don't... I let I people read that all up close off the mat because he's a hand trap where if oh, the Centurion's on their side of the field, he could just special out and then move. And then move? And then, and then move the Centurion. That's hand on the or graveyard, oh my God. That's on the field back into the back row. And uh, literally I had like somebody attack me with a unicorn that didn't have any, uh, like his effect was negated. It's happened a lot in testing where he just literally protects you and he's 3,000. 3,000 ass is a 3,000 ass. Yeah, 3,000, yeah. <laughs> and I don't, it's simplified game state that's actually really strong and he just keeps looping. And the image mm -hmm. is just, he's a good card, but he's not good if you just draw him by himself. So, word. You see why people complain. Um, one part of full combo in case I don't open the combo, and the other part of full combo in case I don't open the combo is if you nib somebody or you get nibbed and you normal Valor. People have brought that up in all these Centurion profiles that you've probably ever seen online, but you have to mention it if you play Centurion because it I happens mean. and it's really good. And if this is like half starters. Yeah. So uh, I played Double Ash and, and Mourner. Um, Mourner's been sleeping on people, man. That's why I'm trying. I just wanted to see, and the Ashes are... Sometimes, yeah. but they're also really, really insane. But it's like playing two, against and, fire catch you lacking with the ash, yeah. though. And this too good, yeah, too good. It's a better. It, it's almost as good as Imperm. Yeah, it's too good. Speaking of Imperm, oh, there it is. Way too good to not play right now. I I feel like it's the best overall hand trap. Yeah, ash is the best, but it's not super duper amazing and you'll get beat over the head and countered yeah. if you play ash so you have to be careful that's also uh hita is why i'm also i don't want to keep seeing it i want to mourner people and imperm 
just good going first, good going second, can catch certain decks and just knocking them out. Especially even in a mirror, it's really, really ignorant. Um, <laughs> you stand up Centurion. <laughs> stand up Centurion is a uh, Cyframe, uh, the Cyframe field spell, just a better card and a better deck. Um, oh shit! It's another synchro deck. Um, uh, it can it can be protected. Uh, while you control a, a Centurion monster card, it's protected. So, like, I had somebody uh, lightning storm me online, feather duster me online, and they're like, "Why is not going away?" And then uh, synchroing and just catching them, and it's either turn, so you can you can use it at any time. You can use it. And just, yeah. Just really, really, it's it's a FTK. Can it help you like look. dodge like hand traps and shit? Somewhat, or, but um, or like destruction. It's and more stuff. like the hand traps that matter if you get impermed and you're like, okay, field spell. You keep going, it doesn't matter. Okay. You know? So it's like it pushes through stuff, and you don't care about Nib at all. All right. Unless you're playing Fenrir and all that stuff. Well, I'm playing another option. Uh, Triple Oath, probably the worst of the Centurion cards. It's not a Centurion card. It's Emblem Oath. Oh, uh, but see. you can search the counter trap if you're playing it. And, and just set it if you open up everything. Or just, if you get hand trapped, it pushes through the hand trap as well. Okay. And it can, you know, you can set it and then set and another card and then push, you know, there's all kind of stuff. Can you, you can even do. open up two, yeah, you just set one of the opponent's turn and you do it then. You got it. Uh, triple Super Poly. Uh, this card, I feel like right now, it's just way too good. And the targets that I'm playing, I just like all three of them. I'm not playing Guilty or Gear Free. I, I, I'll get into that when I get there, but... Super Poly wins games. It definitely, this card makes me want to play Dweller. I'll explain that when I get there. Triple Book. Um, forgive me for not having three Ultras. Um, but Book of the Moon. It pushes through Trudea's effect. A lot of people don't know that, so I'm just explaining it real quick. Um, Trudea on field effect. And they're like, oh, I imperm the book. And then it goes back to the back row anyway. So it pushes yep. through it, and it pushes through the, the... Oh, it doesn't have to be face up to go to the spell trap? No, it just has to... It just It's allowing it to resolve, and then it's going to push through. Okay. It's going to push through its effect yeah. so it doesn't get stopped. You know? Kind of flu fluish. This is know? very much fluish. It, this deck is fluish. It literally is like uh, classy flu. Um, this is my choice. Um, I'm not playing cross out right now and forbidden chalice when I'm walking into a board chain chalice is just so good mm -hmm. right now It is it's a it's a fourth and a fifth imperm Just how I'm doing it Have you ever thought about uh, Droplets over chalice. I thought about it. I, I If I'm playing only if I was playing desires, okay only if I'm drawing extra cards and I have the extra fodder um, That's fair double talents and called by um, hand traps. You can debate about this and not and uh, not, uh, cross out. It's up to you. Um, to me, the deck doesn't lose to anything in specific. So if you like droll me, okay, um, that doesn't matter. And talents, I need to look for free. You lost. So it, it's it's a lot to talk about. Uh, I definitely have been stealing people's exceeds and zeusing them, you know, over the top of it. So that's the number one thing that is the steal is the most under. It's, under it's underrated. You know, I've nibbed somebody, took the token, and killed them with it. Like, that's what I've been doing with Talents. Um, the last Centurion card, my bad, before the Feather Duster, is Centurion Bonds and Phalanx. Phalanx allows the uh, this guy, this Legatia, to just float even more. And then it's basically a uh, spot remover. And then this helps push through um, hand traps. This beats Imperm. Because they'll like stop you or whatever, and you have other stuff, and you have to set up, or you'll pitch off the field spell, and you just put it right back on the field. Okay. And if you search it off the uh, Premiere, it's just gonna it helps you push through hand traps. So it's like, oh, this doesn't play through hand traps. Yeah, it does. It's just you, you skillfully just have to yeah, sequence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You knew what I was about to say. Uh, Feather Duster, because you know I, I'm playing 41. I just threw in the extra card in my siding patterns. It works for me. And then terraforming the search. Because you can't have too many FTKs. Because all of those cards that you saw, they're monsters, they're all FTKs. And even the emblems, and all they're all FTKs. One card, turn skip. One card, too good. Um, side deck doesn't really matter because it's going to swap and swap again and swap again. But there is a card that I really like playing. All of these I love playing. Love playing them. Pushes through the FTK where they can't stop it. You better play it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's main deck worthy, but it's definitely side deck worthy. Not at all. 
Phantasme, I'm trying it out right now. Lack of a better card. Um, but also, if you catch the links at the right time and as many hand traps as you're playing, it fixes your hand. And sometimes your hands get weird, you know? Mm -hmm. So you can just sculpt your hand to fix it. This is my choice right now. I, I didn't play the Horus stuff. I am in love with this card because we were having theory with a lot of high-level players. And to me, this card is even better than Fenrir for you. And it also can create another body because it can special effect bounce. Reminds me special of like the power it's... level of like Pink or Tops, man. Right. But it's even better than Pink or Tops. And it bounces. And yeah. a lot of people, they you know, like everybody's playing some kind of destruction. Okay, bounce it. And then it's a level 8. And that so can make many. itself, it can bounce something and then bring itself right back. And it's a free body. And this also plays through the nib strategy to where everybody's mm -hmm. like, oh, I can't nib them. Yeah, you're right. Special in game two and three and you lost, you know. Um, and the side impact, I just, I I don't know. The, like Ghost Bell, I didn't miss it at all. Uh, Legacia. Um, and pin. It's literally in pin. Uh, I was tired when we were having a conversation. This deck is like sophisticated flu <laughs> but again legacia 3500 body and pin in a suit <laughs> <laughs> literally in pin in a, in a gundam mech suit i guess um but legacia to pop to to draw the, the hand traps that you draw the advantage that you draw the solemn that you you know like you're gonna push mm -hmm. you're gonna draw something that's gonna help you get home and the deck is that consistent gonna draw that ass gonna draw that right corner. uh crimson because you got to, you know, I didn't admit, I didn't, if you skillfully play, I think you only need one. Just beware of Nightmare Unicorn. Yeah. And that uh, number one. Yeah, uh, number in, monster. Uh, Infection King. Yeah. That's a really, really powerful card. Um, Cosmic Blazar Dragon. When they, when they move off of the hot red that you're inevitably going to crack them in the head with, they're probably going to ban it. It's the next best one. It's the, the third best one. They're gonna hit fire, then the next band list are gonna hit all the, the auto wins. All the in between and all the auto wins. Absolutely. I agree. Uh, red Supernova for all the back row decks that you might struggle with. Um, for everybody else, and you can't miss timing. So, like, if the situation feels like you can miss timing with this, which I'll explain in the comments because some people don't know how you can miss timing, Blazar is ignorant. In simplified game state, the game is over with. I'm dead serious. It's. One of the most insane cards where I'm like, man, this almost feels like it's not even, it shouldn't even be legal. And the trap card and all these stuff, like these cards are very important in chain blocking. So, you know, ju just know that. Um, I'm playing Pack Bit. Uh, it can be I Starlight. I like this card. I like the card and it works perfectly with them. Even though he wasn't even in the same, uh, I don't think he's in the same set, was he? He's not even in the same set, but this card is like he was built for them. Spot removal, can put himself back here. And putting stuff to help you like bounce something and then mm -hmm. you can put stuff in the back row and it treats them as continuous track. It's spot removal, perfect card that you need. Scarlight's probably better, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it came up for me a lot in testing where I'm like, I like this card more. Uh, Berserker, when they have a negate, you had a negate. You had a negate. You had a negate. Now you have nothing. Now you have nothing or you're going to die. <laughs> and then he's going to punch over uh, something. Bink, bink. To me, he's really, really strong. This can be Dweller. This can be Dweller, one of these two, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, this can be, um, there's some cards, you know. This can be a link package. I, I wanted to talk about that. I'll talk about that at the very end, but it's literally like the access, you know. Mm -hmm. If you get barriered, game time. They bury you, you kill them with the other monsters anyway, you know. Um, oh, Synchro? Nope, this is a link deck now. Right. And these are all options I've just been messing around with that I didn't quite play today, but I really, really like All them. good cards. All just really, really powerful cards that'll mix right in. Uh, Gersu could be number 90, could be Hope Harbinger. It's up to you. Uh, over the, the talents that you steal the monster with, the Baguska. Um, definitely want to consider Dweller, but Baguska is really, really, really good right now, but obviously doesn't work all the time. I didn't have Little Knight. It's on loan, so... It'll do. This is Little Knight at home. She'll do. She'll do. She'll do. She gets, she got, she literally, it came up. It came up in testing and it came where I'm like, I'm going to practice without Little Knight. Just to, it's pretty good. And that's super poly people's stuff anyway. Anyway, speaking of super poly for the boards with, with Baron and Little Knight. Yeah. For the beer match. You know, this can be guilty of gear free, but like Infernoble, I don't know. I think, I think you're more likely to summon that than gu guilty. True that.
Because I, I feel like I'm going to see Baron and Little Knight and all those mm -hmm. more, and you're just going to catch somebody eventually. Little Knight with a random dragon. And that's about it, you know, Super Poly, you know. Uh, I definitely, uh, 2200 Valor is what I've been considering. I mean, uh, Valor, why did I say the Dweller? Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Dweller's pretty strong. Um, but anyways, uh, shout out to the wise guys. Shout out to the wise guys. Yeah.